guys, it's Catherine, and so today I am going to be talking about what life is like with three kids. I just want to say life with one kid was pretty easy. It was difficult at first when I first had him. I was like, oh my goodness, I have this other person that I gotta take care of. And then when we had two, it was like, oh, okay. I have two people to take care of, this is pretty cool. And then when I had three, I was like, um, yeah, my house is never clean. It was a hot mess. So I'm just gonna go over quickly today some of the things that I have noticed since I've had three kids. Some of them are funny, some are kind of sad. Some of them involve eating a lot of ice cream to cope. So, number one, you will always have a bathroom buddy no matter what if you have any kids under the age of five you're probably gonna have someone who wants to go to the bathroom with you and talk to you the whole time number two the dog always gets snacks no matter what even if you don't even own dog treats somehow your kids are just gonna give him all the snacks sometimes that's a full plate of food that you spent two hours cooking because they didn't want it they flipped it on the floor yay Number three, someone always needs something, always. Number four, mama is always the last person to eat. Number five, someone always needs water. We live in Arizona, so it's like, water, water, and I'm like, it's right there. Number next, date night doesn't exist. I wish it did, but it's expensive. Not only are you paying to just leave your house, then you get to a restaurant and then you have to pay more money. And then you have to feel guilty because your babysitter needs to eat, so then you spend more money to bring them a meal. I don't know how date nights turn from like 45 bucks to like $150 because you have three kids, but somehow they have. And now because date nights are so expensive, we try to go out with our kids out to eat at a restaurant with real people in public. It's like trying to eat while swimming. Your arms can't stop moving because everybody needs something at all times. Number eight, you will often ask yourself, am I a daycare? Number nine, I need another set of dishes, but that will create more dishes. But we keep running out of dishes. Number 10, they all play together nicely most of the time. Number 11, thanks to my previous job as a maid at Mary Maids, my skills in cleaning have helped me so vomit, poop, and unidentifiable stickiness isn't constantly in our home. The Bible says children are a blessing, and often I think to myself, these blessings have truly shown me exactly how much I need Jesus, and I need him a whole lot. Some days are long, some days are short, and for some reason, old people keep telling me to enjoy each and every moment and each and every day. But for some reason, I keep dreaming about a time where people don't need me to wipe their bottom and I don't have to pack every single person in the car and buckle them up and I don't have to wipe their mouth after every meal or clean their plates or do every single thing for them because they are incapable. I also dream about a day where I don't have to cut food into teeny tiny itty bitty little pieces so nobody chokes to death. And number 15, last but not least, I have learned that when you need a moment to yourself, children are very easily distracted so you can point out an itty bitty teeny tiny little object, something, even a crumb in your home and for at least the next five minutes they will all surround it and try and figure out what it is, giving you five minutes to binge eat some ice cream with your head shoved into the freezer or at least run to the bathroom by yourself so you can go without a bathroom buddy. And there you have it. That is 15 things that I have learned or uh, things that I have come to realize since I've had three kids in under four years, which is a lot of math for me and subtraction when it comes to the years. But my brain, thankfully, is somewhat intact, even though motherhood has almost tried to destroy it. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.